Well, hi there, it's Mr. Martinez here, and in this Adobe Animate CC 2010 2020 tutorial, I'm going to go over how to make some basic motion tweens. So they're kind of the same thing as what you've been noticing in previous Adobe Flash or Animate programs. So again, I'm going to start a new document here, File New, 128720, 24 frame rate, and create. So to get started on my stage, I want to make sure it fits in. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit because I'm going to have something come in onto the stage. I'm going to go here to my Polystar tool and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to choose star. And I like to be difficult, so I'm going to make it a seven sided star. I'm going to make the point size a little bit smaller, maybe 0.3. For my fill, I don't know, maybe I'll choose pretty boring, I'll just choose a yellow color. So I'm going to go on my stage here, I'm going to draw out a star. Now, to do a motion tween, I've got to make sure that my uh, shape is selected. I'm going to right click on that shape, or I'm going to click modify at the top and convert it to a symbol, or press F8 on my keyboard. I'll get a few options here. Uh, I want it to be a movie clip, and I'm going to call this my star. Now I can do what's called a motion tween. I'm going to right click on this object and I'm going to create a motion tween. So what's going to happen is I'm going to create motion tween and Adobe Animate automatically puts in 24 frames or one second of work. I'm going to drag my shape over here and let go. What Adobe Animate does, it automatically fills in the keyframes for me. So if I press play now, instead of doing frame by frame animation, I can let it go like this. Now, that's all well and good. I can also tweak the path it's taken. So if I, again, I could click on my arrow tool. If I draw, get closer to the line, I'll get a curved line. I can click and drag up. I can press play again. And now my star is following a different path, like so. And there's different options here. I can choose uh, my sub-selection tool, and I can tweak even uh, the way my path is, right, I can get these curves on it. So maybe my star is going to do something like this. And I can change the path like so. So if I press play, I can change my path even more. I go back to my selection tool. Uh, if I want the star to rotate, I can click on that line again. And under tweening here, I can choose rotate. Oh, I'm going to make it rotate clockwise and two times. And this time when I press play, it's going to spin around a few times. Okay, and it can be clockwise or counterclockwise. You can also make things disappear. So if I click on this once, under color effects, I can change the alpha, which is the transparency. So I'm going to drop this down. Maybe I want the star to disappear at the end or get faded out. If I press play, it's going to start totally filled in and fade out. Using the transform tool, I can also make it smaller. So maybe it's going to start big and get very tiny. So if I press play now, my star starts out big and gets small. Let's say I wanted to add another motion tween in this movie. So I make a new layer and right here, right when that star ends, I'm going to insert a blank keyframe and I want, I don't know, I want a planet to show up. So I'm going to choose a different fill. Maybe the planet is pink. And now I'm going to have my planet show up. Select it, right click, or modify, convert to symbol, planet. I'm going to right click it, and I want to create a motion tween. This time, though, watch what happens. Animate doesn't create more frames for me. I need to do that. So I want to do a motion tween, but I can't. I need to add more frames here. So I'm going to add a frame here. And I'm going to move this planet where I want it to go. Here. So you notice now, when you make motion tweens after the beginning, you have to add the frames for them. Press Enter. My star goes away. And then my planet comes in. Okay. So that's just a basic tutorial on how to make simple motion tweens using shapes.